how do I help the people closest to me? They don't want to hear it. They're not interested. And I think this is the underlying theme of your question, really, is certainly what I'm hearing. And first of all, I think it's very hard. Often the people closest to us, they don't want to hear it from us, right? They want to hear it. They'll hear it from someone else, even a few years ago, right? I'd been out in the media for years. I'm, I'm sharing all these messages. I can't remember what it was, but my wife said to me, hey, you know, I've been hearing about this guy talking about this kind of time-restricted eating. You know, I think it would be, I think I'm going to try it. It sounds awesome. I'm like, hey, babe, you know, I've been talking about this in public for about three years, right? It's in my first book that has been out. And the thing is, she doesn't want to hear it from me, right? She wants to hear it from somebody else, not her husband. So I think that's the first thing for people to be aware of, that it's not necessarily you or the way you're delivering that message. It's sometimes there's all that history between us and our loved ones. And often they don't want the advice, right? So the first thing is, yes, it can be hard. Now, one thing I think is really helpful is be the change yourself. You do the things where you're putting these things into practice as much as you can, and you're starting to feel better. You're starting to be less reactive. Your skin's glowing more. You've got more energy. Whatever it might be, people around you will see that. And when they are ready to change, and no one's ready to change until they are. Things work until they don't work. And so when your partner or your brother or your sister or your best friend is really struggling to go, hey, listen, I've noticed. What, what is it, that thing you're doing again? Because I've noticed you're looking great. You're, you've always got energy. So I think that's an, an approach to take. Be the change. Don't lecture the people around you, especially if they've not asked you for that advice. And then that's a third point for me. Ask for permission. I think asking for permission to give advice is something that's very underrated. So this isn't quite the same thing, but one thing I've learned in 14 years of marriage life is that my wife doesn't always want me to fix something when she tells me about it. it took me a little, little bit of time to, work, to, to figure this out. Honestly, she sometimes just wants me to listen, right? And I think many women will say this, that they don't want their husbands or their partners or whatever. It doesn't, I mean, it's not just women. I know that, but I've seen this a lot in women. And I've learned, so what I do now with my wife is if she's sharing something with me, I say, hey, babe, listen, can I just check? Do you want me to listen here or do you want me to provide a solution? And she goes, I just want you to listen. I said, okay, great. It sounds so simple, but it has changed things dramatically because there's a real openness in communication. And sometimes now she'll say, yeah, actually, you know what? Have you got any ideas on how I can uh, sort this out? So just ask for permission. So it could be that your loved one or your friend, or your sister, or whoever it is, you basically, um, you know, often we try and make the advice or give the advice when people are feeling triggered, like when they're really struggling. And we say, hey, look, I know what's going to help you. I told you this last week, you know, this will really help. That is not the time, in my view, to have these conversations. If your partner, let's say, is struggling with something, in that moment, don't bring it up. Maybe a few days later when you guys are out for a walk together, you're doing something completely different. Say, so, hey, babe, listen, I've noticed a few times that um, you're really tired in the morning and you're struggling to fall asleep. I've been hearing about these really cool ideas that I think might help you. Are you interested? You know, do, you, do you want to hear about them? In that setting, you might be surprised. Your partner or your brother or your sister might go, hey, yeah, go on. Go on. I'm, I'm interested, actually. You know, what have you learned? What have you heard? So I think when we bring things up, it makes a massive difference as to how they land. And I have this phrase light that I write about in this book. It's something I talk about when I teach doctors, the principles that I write about. And it's, it, the, the phrase is this, connect first, educate second. Thank you so much for watching. Just FYI, we post a new video almost every day. So make sure you comment and subscribe below so you don't miss out on anything. And if you enjoyed this video, I think you're really going to love this one as well. And if you ever want to see a playlist of all of my podcasts or all of the plot twists or any other category of videos, you can find links to those in the description below.